my channel today. I'm going to be teaching you guys about the vertebrates and the classification. And also I'm using PowerPoint. This is going to be my presentation. So let's get started with the first page. So vertebrates are animals with backbones basically. So first of all, I'm going to grab my pen right here. There we go. Now, um, animals with backbones. Those are vertebrates and vertebrates are like fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Now, first we'll do fish. Fish live in water, have gills, fins, and scales. They are cold-blooded animals, can breathe underwater. Okay, so just like we breathe with lungs, they breathe with gills. It helps them breathe underwater. And I'll also give you examples. Examples like hmm, goldfish, shark, um, what about hmm, eel? There's a lot of one. And also cob. So yeah, those ones. And right here are the parts of fish. There's fins, tail, eyes, mouth. <clears throat> now we're going to move on to birds. Okay, birds have feathers, lay eggs, have um, wings and bills. If you'll be wondering what bills are, bills are like its beak right here. As you can see, that's it. Bills. Bills beak, same thing. <clears throat> and there are warm-blooded animals. And I'll also tell you after this, I'll tell you what warm-blooded and cold-blooded are. Okay. So I'll give you examples now, parrot, robin, duck, toucan. <clears throat> now, um, right here are like the eyes, head, beak and stuff. And also now, um, cold blooded means they cannot maintain their body temperature. But warm blooded means they can maintain their body temperature. We can maintain our body temperature because we're warm blooded. And next, we'll read about reptiles. Okay, reptiles are cold-blooded, have scales, dry skin, breathe air, hatch from eggs too. And I will give you examples like turtle, snake, um, yeah, lizard. And right here is a picture of the lizard. And there's eyes, the head, the body and stuff. And it's tail. Now, let's move down. Next is mammals. Um, we are also mammals, um, okay, have hair or fur, warm-blooded, um, have live birds, have lungs, and breathe air. Okay, now I'll give you examples, panda, bears, or also tiger, lion, whales, so those are mammals. Next, let's move on. Okay, so next we'll, we'll be reading about amphibians next. Oops, wait, I kind of my, my, um, messed it up. Okay, now, okay, cold um, amphibians are cold-blooded, born in water, grow lungs, um, live on land or in water, moist skin, and lay eggs. And I'll give you the example as a frog, um, that also. And first of all, when they start their lives, they breathe with gills. Then after when they grow up, they um, grow gills and lungs and then they breathe with the lungs for the rest of their lives yes and yeah so that's the end for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone